Okay, um, today we are going to look at automotive electrical systems and components. Um, we are going to look at some of the fundamentals and um, what they are and how they can help us to understand our vehicles and how to fix our vehicles the electrical system is in our vehicles um, the automobile works with mechanical and electrical systems as we have earlier stated in the introduction um, introductory video and these systems especially the electrical systems are very vital um, and sometimes may be complex it basically controls all components and systems in a vehicle there are two major energy required to power the vehicle which is in the mechanical energy which has a lot of subdivision and the electrical energy so having good knowledge of uh, electrical um, systems the electrical systems component and circuit it is very mandatory for every automobile automotive tech despite your area of specialization whether you are specialized in any part of the vehicle at least you must have a reasonable amount of knowledge on our electrical um, components of the vehicle works and um, like i said earlier different generation of vehicle has different electrical system and complex system you can't compare um a vehicle of 1970 the electrical system would be very basic containing a few wires fuses switches and component but in a vehicle of in the 2020 vehicle model you're going to say complex electrical system with thousands or millions of wires um, complex electronic unit and circuit hundreds of fuses hundreds of electrical um, and electronics component and complex circuits uh, there are a lot of components a lot of systems in the vehicles electrical system in the vehicles and we're going to look at a lot like the charging system the battery the ignition system the voice system the cooling system the motor electronics the exhaust system the electronic control units or control modules and we have lightings, uh, dashboards, fuses and relay buses, air conditioning system, heater system, we have the sun system, airbag system, electronic braking, and wiper sensors, windshield, the seats, uh, like, um, the actuators, we have actuators on the seat doors, we have uh, even some electronic actuators and the suspensions we have an alarm we have telecommunication system we have a um, signal acquisition modules all these uh, are very vital we have to have proper understanding of all these concepts all these uh, systems you know that to understand what we are talking about so uh, in this session we are going to talk about majority of the systems first we'll talk about the charging system now the charging system is one of the most important system on the vehicle especially we are talking about an internal combustion engine vehicle the charging system is what charges the battery it generates its um, power from the talk of the engine the rotation of the engine and it converts it to electrical energy through the alternator the alternator generates um, ac current which is converted to dc current the alternator as um, it um, receives under the charging system we have the alternator the alternator receives um, mechanical energy from the rotation of the crank of the vehicle is um, the crankshaft or the main engine shaft and then this energy is converted to um, alternating current from rotation but this alternating current is later rectified 
by DC converter which in modern vehicles are inbuilt in the alternator and this converter alternator has put DC energy now the alternator um, works through the principle of electromagnetism what that means is that it generates um, current through electromagnetic induction so there are various coils there are two coils which are the um, rotor and the stator the rotor is stationary and sorry the rotor rotates and the stator is stationary so when the rotor rotates around the stator energy is being generated and there is electrical current or charge is being generated and so if you are work on the alternator you're going to see um, the various the rotor and the status they are just coiled wires and should having magnetic feed and so um, alternator are usually they usually come into for either the 14 volt alternator or the 24 volt 26 volt alternator the 14 volt alternator powers the 12 volt battery system so it is two volt higher just to cover up in case um, the alternator start depreciating in the um, amount of voltage that it generates do you know um, the alternator is designed for 14 volt as its optimal value so it can produce anything that exceeds 14 volt so regularly um, an average alternator will give you at most 30 13.99 volts so but um same with the 26 volt alternator that would give you same um roughly 25.99 at most voltage to, to supply or to power or to charge a 24 volt battery so the battery comes in various amps and in size we know the battery range in various amps battery uh, voltage and amps rating so also alternator alternator have rating around the 75 amps alternator the 100 amps to 150 amps as the case may be so the alternator has an as in it has a stator rotor amateur voltage um, voltage regulator sleep ring rectifier fan bearing brushes and a lot more components are attached to the alternator all this um information are in our books like we all know the alternator is the charge uh but when you come to overhauling alternator you have to understand all these uh, sometimes the azine is the case that covers the alternator and the design varies with different type of alternator, different manufacturer, and different features the alternator may have. The stator is um, the part of the alternator that helps to generate um, electrical energy through or electrical current through electromagnetic induction. The rotor or how much is the rotative part of the alternator that helps to generate? Um, it works with the stator it's it's connected to a pulley which the pulley which um is attached to a bed and that bed is um attached or to the crankshaft so that um, alternator bed as a way of um the bed as a way of going through the alternator and the crankshaft so that the energy from the crankshaft is being transmitted to the alternator to charge it up so that energy can be generated the voltage regulator that's a device that regulates um, the voltage you know i said the alternator um, generates alternating current so the voltage regulator helps to um with the rectifier both rectify the current rectifier rectifier convert it from alternating current to um direct current which is dc and then the voltage regulator tends to regulate the voltage to provide a stable and a steady current flow a steady current so um the 
the, uh, despite the changing speed of the crankshaft or the bit uh, um, during rotation when the engine is, work, um, is, is working or when the engine is um, running due to, uh, despite the changing changing the speed of the torque it has little effect on the voltage supplied by the alternator that is due to the work of the voltage regulator then the bearing is to uh, for smooth rotation so if the bearing is bad you would start having slow noise and friction a lot of friction will be there and a lot of noise excessive noise and you can replace the bearing also the brushes the brushes uh electrical contact between the rotor and the stator the we have often they ought to be replaced when they are due well the old alternator should be replaced so faults that can be associated with the alternator you have um, there are a lot of faults that can be associated with your alternators and we have um, your alternator bed drive that is the gear on the pulley can slip sleeping alternator bed drive um, also you can have loose or corroded battery terminals because uh, power cable your power cable are attached to the alternator both the positive and the negative uh, most times the negative is always grounded or the alternator through the boat attaching the alternator to the body of the vehicle so so the yeah. negative is usually grounded there yeah. yeah. but the positive is usually connected to a power cable that leads to the battery and to other parts of the vehicle so the internal um, diode there are some internal faults that could occur in the alternator like the diode may have an open circuit brushes may wear out or regulator voltage regulator may develop faults all these are faults you can have in the alternator uh, you can have open circuit in wirings that may supply nation system and whatever short circuit um, in the alternator that can cause power drain even when um, the vehicle is, uh, is turned off um, you can also have corroded wire that may cause high resistance in the main charging um, a lot of these faults can come in the alternator so most of the time you can diagnose um, using your um, multimeter and other diagnostic tools and we all know the alternator has warning lights on the dashboard this warning light could also appear and they could be damaged and give you um, some warnings despite when the alternator is working well so the way to repair this for the uh, we will explain them when we we'll explain general testing and repairs um, techniques. So, with that, we have been able to.